Hello everybody, James Rink here. Welcome to another edition of Super Soldier Talk. I'm James Rink. It is June 8th, 2016. And today I have Peter and Jessica with us. So, um, but uh, before uh, we bring the guests in, I want to mention that uh, last week I was talking about the CN Tower in Toronto Allegedly, the Monarch facility entrance is in this building. Um, and someone mentioned, I believe it was Peter, that that uh, he mistakenly mentioned that it was in Montreal. So it is actually in Toronto. Uh, Peter, are you there? Yes, I am here. And hello to everybody. Yes, uh, it's all my fault. Uh, I, I, I was mistaken. Sorry for that. Okay, well, we can forgive you. Uh, so th th thank you for Peter for joining us again. And how are you? Ah, cause uh, given all the crazy circumstances, good, but uh, it's really not okay. The situation is going even more, much more and more complicated these days. These last few weeks, if you wanna say it that way. All right. Well, can um, can you explain what exactly has been complicating things? Or, or should we wait, wait till we bring Jessica on? Uh, I think that it will be fair to bring her on first. Okay. Jessica, hello. Hello, James. How are you today? Great, great. Good. Uh, good. Thank you for joining us. Um, how are you doing? Pretty good. I'm looking forward to, uh, you know, having another discussion today with you and uh, Peter. Yeah. And of course, uh, on Super Soldier Talk, uh, pretty much everything's fair game. Uh, I, I, I know recently we were talking a little bit about some of the sexual practices of the ETs. Uh, I, <laughs> I, I, I think that might be uh, the extent of the how deep the show may go. But uh, evidently, some of these ETs have different types of genders, uh, more than just male and female. I'm assuming is that is that what what we were talking pretty much picking up on about all this is there anybody want to comment about that yeah yeah uh, because uh, there are many uh, species they uh, they've got uh, more than three or four genders not like not not uh, just two as we have and uh, for example it's it, it can re uh, gain up to 16 16 yeah. different genders right yeah so that would make sex pretty complicated uh, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Excited, complicated in one uh, in one side, but very excited in other side. <laughs> yeah. So, so can these beings? I guess what well, we we've already talked about it that some of these beings can actually have sex through their avatars. Yeah, you are and, right. And they actually wow. some of them they engage in orgies, uh, in particular the, what the Nordics. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing because uh, we we can go directly to our our m most problematic uh, matter in in uh, last few weeks that uh, Nazis from another I mean uh, parallel reality they are uh, they are here in our reality they are mirroring if you wanna say that way they are they are mirroring here and. Um, uh, as a gift from our re our realities Nordics, uh, they they gave them uh, um, their you know like nicest uh, most beauty you know <laughs> if if you wanna say it that way equivalent of our females because they've got uh, four different uh, uh, genders too. Nordics, right? Right. All right. Okay, and and I just want to mention to the audience uh, the reason why Peter would even be qualified to talk about this is he, he has some experience with the ACIO, which is the Alien Contact Intelligence Organization, uh, which um, I, he says there's about what fifty divisions and about five uh, from fifty from fifty to one hundred, and now we've got uh, ninety five. Okay. Now, now, because the situation is extremely complicated these days. Right, right. So he's speaking from his experience from that organization. And, of course, Jessica 
was uh, is associated with the numbers group, um, which is I guess is like an ET council connected with the first beans. Yes, yes, you you've got pretty much right. Yeah, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna share some of our perspective on the extra terrestrial exopolitics situation here. Um, and again, we were talking about the most recent thing, what Peter was going on about the Nazis. Evidently, what what did you see some Nazis in Australia? In yes, some... yes, you are right, in uh, Central Australia. Yeah, yeah. And can you comment about that? Are... Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it was... Uh... It was uh, in Central Australia. I mean, like uh, uh, in um, uh, you know where the the bushes are and when uh, where the desert are, you know. And uh, in one day there was nothing, and during two or three days, simply bam, huge huge air base huge army base and we, we were totally shocked I mean we in ACIO right and it was like what the heck are, are they serious and then um, our drone uh, called it on a camera we've got video footage uh, when a huge air base vanished practically in front of a uh, camera's eyes you know, you know what I mean it was total crazy so this base, do they actually like bring in a lot of equipment that can set it up pretty quick, or or? Yeah, it... yeah, pretty quick. Uh, I mean, uh, you mentioned pretty quick. I mean, in a few minutes. So a huge base, extremely huge base, uh, fully equipped, equipped for for fight. Does that mean that they're using some kind of nano goo to manifest uh, not, it? Or? Not, not, not nano, not nano, femto. Femto uh, PPAI like pet, uh, petog uh, pathogenic predatory artificial intelligence. So this something, this something like that, but it's very it's extremely high advanced, and uh, we never faced something like that before. I mean, of course we faced something, but not in such large amounts. I mean. It, it, it's extremely huge, extremely like uh, 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 big numbers of, of techniques, of, of weaponry, of equipment, of people. And they can move super fast. Well, how many people do you think were involved in this? I don't know. I don't know. We, we can, um, how can I say that? We, it's like division. I don't know. Ten, tens of thousands of people just in one division of soldiers, right? Extremely, it was extreme. Now, now like, these like total crazy, like total crazy. So, were 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 these soldiers like teleported in, perhaps? Yeah, something like that. But that's the thing. We never saw something like that before. I mean, like, okay, teleport is something, but not such a huge teleport. Yeah. And uh, they 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 can teleport everything like uh, <clears throat> uh, like uh, tanks. I mean, panzers, like I don't know, artillery, people. You know, all kind of equipment. I mean, weapons. Yeah, I mean, like uh, handguns, um, machine guns, anything you you do you can imagine. He heavy technique, as I said, panzers. I don't know, like. Airplanes from small, smallest one to to huge one, like uh, I don't know, like is uh, Hercules or I don't know C C five or C seventeen or something. It's total crazy, right? And that's the thing. In the middle of nowhere, they can create airport, military airport with runways. It's it's total crazy. Trust me. Yeah, so so why did it disappear? If if they're invading us, why would they go away? Or or are they invading us? No, no, no. That's the thing. Uh, they can move. They can move. Uh, how can I say that? It's like hide and seek, hide and seek game, something like that. You never know in which uh, when I mean in which place 
they will they will appear and attack i mean strike yeah so um i mean clearly you guys have technology to monitor where, where they could have gone D do you know where they disappear to uh, if you want to say that way something like pocket universe okay. if you want to say that way is that the same as a parallel reality no 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 no, no. it's pocket universe they are there uh, and they can uh, because it's extremely complicated to 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 um, move I mean to appear and vanish appear and vanish from one solid universe if you uh, if you wanna call it uh, another universe or a spiral reality nobody cares it's complicated but if you've got something like uh, temporary uh, we call it bubble or maybe pocket universe you can slow the the flu of flu speed of time to very low amount from our actual uh, speed of time and you can teleport you know like tick tock tick tock do you know what I mean and that's the thing there is practically zero chance to predict where they uh, where uh, when and where uh, they will uh, they uh, will appear that's the problem so does this damage their dna when they time travel or or, or I'm no, sorry no 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 that, that's travel. another problem that's another problem for us uh we've got technology we need to have um suits i mean scaphanders yeah covering whole body because uh because of teleport uh, you will have damage in your dna damage in your cells right because you are live being no matter if you are human if you, if you have some animals or plants with you it's living organism right and that's the thing they've got technology with no no damages hmm do you no no harm no harm no harm for their cells their DNA I mean like like that well, well so you earlier you mentioned that this this was a, a a Nazi group yeah 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 you're right now didn't well, I mean I don't mean to be sarcastic but didn't they uh, lose in World War Two how how did it because because in another another reality this parallel reality we we called it nazi reality um uh they won because of uh, nordics uh in our reality nordics just uh, it was an an investment okay and they they thought okay they are going nuts screw them and they were stop um, uh, giving them most uh, highly advanced technologies right in this reality in another reality when uh, nazi access uh, access i mean rome berlin tokyo axis when they won second world war uh they didn't stop support to support them with the uh, newest and newest technologies so that, that's the difference that's the that, that's the reason why they won a second world war in uh, another reality okay well maybe in that other parallel reality the nazis weren't um didn't practice so much genocide with the, uh, with the Jews that's, and all that. That's the thing. Yes, you are right. They, for example, they don't kill Jewish people. So, but but we can't really go out and say they're good Nazis because it's really. No. But that's the thing. How can I say that? Yes, they have got mm, camps, but they were not extermination camps. They were. How can I say that? Working camps. Uh, how can I say that it, it wasn't a prison well it was oh. how can I say that because you are in prison you, you you commit crime and you go into prison right but for example um, they uh, saved 
extreme uh, i mean huge amounts of money because you you've got corporation okay and you you are developer you wanted to to build i don't know houses uh, shopping centers um uh, uh, highways and all kind of infrastructure right but you need to pay workers right am, am i right right but in these other realities uh prisoners from these camps they were workers and of course they were no paid do you know what I mean? Yeah, but but you think that the productivity output of a, an unpaid worker would be pretty bad? Uh, that's the thing. Uh, they've got better treatment, much better than um, in uh, extermination camps in uh, other in our reality. Yeah, but that's the thing that it's still not good. Well, let's just say go for it because that was, I mean, that's got to be what, over 80 years ago, right? So, if we... Uh, 70, 70, when, uh, 71 when uh, war ends, but yeah, you are pretty much right. Okay, so going forward into the timeline, let's just say, I mean... Oh, it, no, no, it, no, it, you, mean, you mean when they uh, came to the power? Yeah, so after they, they uh, okay, took okay, over okay, the yes, planet, sure. I'm assuming, did they take over the planet? They had world domination? No, 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 no. Uh, the reality uh, cranked or maybe started cranking uh, when they um, they were not so fanatized by Nordics itself, itself, they, Nazis, uh, because, uh, how can I say that, their reality Nazis they are for how can i say that pure race but mm, how can i say that uh they've got different um mm, meaning different idea everybody can uh uh they've got people uh, uh from every single race in this world they have right to live but not mixed together how can i say that not Nordic people, I mean like people, I mean like from uh, Scandinavia with Mediter Mediterranean people, no, not, not, not mixing, or maybe in Europe, or maybe I don't know, like people from Europe and from Asia, no, 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 nothing like that, no mixing, or maybe I don't know, like uh, white and black. people white people and afro-american people in for example in usa right so, something like that that would be extremely okay. taboo would, would it be the point where it would be extermination if someone secretly tried to get yes, married yes yes that's the, no, no no not extermination uh they will be put it the uh the uh this family will be will be going into the prison and into working camp, right? So they could be together, just gotta work. Be yeah, yeah, camp. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. You were right, but the, but they are still bad, you know. If well, yes, of course, yes, of course, the parents and all kind of stuff they they uh, can be together, but it, it's still bad ideology. You know the, the, what I mean? Yeah. Well, the point I'm trying to get to here is that the universe is always trying to come back into balance. So even after, say, 70 years, is it still a hellish timeline? Are they still doing the working camps and all this? I mean, uh, no, because – but that's the problem. I was in the reality uh, infiltrated for a long time, but they totally wiped out uh, uh, e emotions from people because people – there is no pure, poorness. How can I say that? Uh, sorry, my uh, my passion. No, no poverty. No poverty. Okay, nothing like that. Uh, people, because they are Germans, of course, right? People, they've got Beamers. I mean, BMWs and big Mercedeses, of course, and they are living in big houses or, or maybe big flats. But they are like stone faces like poker faces like nothing okay 
So if you no, were no laughing, no laughing, no crying, well, no 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 nothing, in, on the streets, in the streets, in 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 uh, the the houses and in the flats, it's situation different. But on the streets, just poker faces, right? That's that's the thing. That's the problem. Wow. Uh, so. I get so they want to infiltrate our timeline to yeah, so that we become yeah, like yeah. them and and of course um uh because it's uh annexion in in German language right it's enacted to enact something in uh, uh um an uh annexed Vereinigten Staaten uh, that means uh enacted USA <laughs> no surprise that uh, Donald Trump is a is a is a holder of it. <laughs> how how can you figure Donald Trump is a Nazi? Uh no, I am saying in another reality. Oh, so in this one he's not a Nazi. Yeah, uh, how can I say that? I don't want to deal if he is or if he's not. I am just saying that in another reality is holder do you know what i mean like protector okay protector of it like like key man for for some enacted uh, area <laughs> so he he's uh, he's adopting the belief system quite um um freely as compared to if he had an opportunity to he probably would join if, if the nazi took over this country he probably would join the nazi uh, party. definitely yes that to be honest definitely yes Definitely. Yes. Oh wow! Well, that, I could he, see. He 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 really enjoyed the role, the role of of uh, protector of of enacted uh, USA, right? Because USA was uh, they uh, they are uh, practically fall apart into two parts. Uh, from Atlantic, I mean, like mm, Eastern half if you want to say it that way because i am not pretty sure if, if it's half or not uh, uh it is like german and from pacific half it's japanese well what happened to say the black people or the maybe uh, other you know mexicans or latinos or what happened to all those folks no 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 as i said nothing they are just obligated to have children between each other uh sorry <laughs> my bad between uh, them not between each other not to mix not to have a mix do you know what i mean and so so i okay all right well it doesn't it doesn't sound like too pleasant reality for individuals that want to do interracial marriages but uh that's the thing that's the thing but at least they are not killing another races uh, instead of uh, white and uh, Asian ones, at least. Okay. Uh, and, and, and that's the thing, once again, I don't want to defend them. I'm just saying that, you know, at least, at least this basic type of confession, they're, they're, I was able to see that. Are, are they more te technologically advanced in the public of sector? Course, yeah. Yeah, of course. So does that mean they have access to anti-gravitational technologies? They could travel yes, really of fast? course. Uh, we we have it too, but it's not publicly known. But they 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 can do crazy things, uh, really crazy things, like publicly. And they've that, got no problem. They got no problem. So is that is that some of the problems that's taking place on this timeline? Is our technology <laughs> is not advanced enough to fight them? Yeah. That's the thing. That's the because thing. Because our government we, tried we to suppress able, it. We, no, 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 no. We we've got no able even with uh, with uh, our most uh, advanced hidden technology, or maybe technologies, if you wanna say it that way. We've got practically zero chance to fight them. Well, why don't you reach out to the Nordics? They're the ones who who caused this mess to begin with. Because because Nordics. Mm, I don't want to be <laughs> rude. <laughs> uh, they simply don't like us. Oh, uh, oh, in in our reality, is it because we don't adopt that Nazi belief system of 
of yes. eugenics. Yeah, you are pretty much right. Oh, well that, okay. All right. Well, but sorry because but sorry because we are talking only about this and Jessica she she didn't sorry remember. Jessica <laughs> are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. I don't worry about it because this is an area that I think um, Peter is well versed on, and it's good that he's getting the information out. Yeah. Do you have any comments you would like to throw into this conversation? Well, the thing that, you know, we have these parallel universes, um, we, I started asking questions like, you know, Peter, so you were there and he said he was there and I suppose I was there and maybe James, you were there and, you know, I mean, so you may see the same people, you know, it's just that, you know, it's, it's that whole phenomena of that we're in multi, um, multi experiences and in some ways I can't help but think that our our thinking and, and somehow gets impacted by these these uh, alternate um, dimensions or uh, realities. Yeah. So does that mean that these the parallel version of ourselves are are influencing us, or are we influencing them? Vice versa. Well, like what he was talking about Donald Trump and saying, well, you know, does he care? Is he aware that he had that leadership role in that? alternate reality or is he not aware and it's just sort of a bleed through of consciousness uh, that's the thing uh, from my point of view is bleed through in our reality is bleed bleeds truth of uh, truth of consciousness but uh, in another reality he really enjoy that yes and it's, it's sort he, of he, like part uh, of his personality. I, how can I say that it's like he loves that yeah yes yeah. the thing well, it's his personality, and like when I'm working with the Akashic Records, I don't look for the way a person appears in their gender or anything like that. I'm looking for their soul, and their soul has a specific, you know, signature, it has, has a certain personality, and it's consistent, and so I can't imagine that we would be somewhat the same regardless of what dimension that we're in, only with variations of influence from um, you know, the, the, the nature and nurture and, and, and that aspect of what the society is like and how, what experiences we had would, would kind of maybe accentuate some of the stronger personality traits. Yes. Yeah, so, so I guess my question now is, is how does all of this come to, to an end or is it, is, are we just starting up with this Nazi issue? Uh, no, we are not just studying. Uh, they are trying to to invade us for for years, and uh, now uh, there will be ninety. Uh, uh, there will be ninety anniversary. They uh, they uh, come to to power in uh, former Germany. What will be? Uh, 2023 okay and they want to have full attack full strike and uh, d you mentioned something about an earthquake weapon yeah a uh, torp yes yes a, you are right. like a torpedo no no no, no. torp uh, uh, yeah you you uh, you are right that the the it is the derivation from it but yes it's torp yeah uh, so that's the that's what it's called and they're mm -hmm, parallel yeah. reality. And it, that, is that a Tesla technology? No, 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 no. It's um, Tesla. Um, he, he, he've got some inventions in that. Yeah. But uh, you know, <laughs> uh, it's much more complicated than the much higher advanced technology than he can create for he just for yes of course he was talented but he then he can create it for his own okay because you can program it it's it looks like egg right uh it's about i don't know like uh like uh, one feet tall and uh, uh, two three I, what means uh, eight inches in diameter 
and it, it it just you know will spin 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 into the the earth and it can run through whole earth and it can uh, set, be set it uh, via something like GPS but it's not GPS alike you know and it can cause uh, serious damage via earthquakes and uh, caldera destabilization right so why why would they want to do that to us if they want to conquer us why what, what no, are they no, gain no. by it's only it's only the how can i say that the last plan of last plans because it's something very um, it's something la a very uh similar to to nuclear war right it's it will it it will be war without a winner right yeah. in nuclear in nuclear war everybody are lo losers mutually everybody assured will, destruction yeah yeah mutual destruction you are right mm -hmm. yeah all right um well hopefully that can be averted somehow uh, maybe they could send some super soldiers in there to to help out. Maybe if yeah, if they unless you think they'll be uh, what, what what was the term they used at the monarch base? Um, fr fresh kill. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, so um, have you perhaps do you have any people? In that parallel reality, you could talk to like a perhaps could operate as a spy or something to gain intel. Yeah, we we've got we've got he, actually we've got one very useful. He volunteered. Uh, I just don't wanna mention the full name. Well, of course. Right? Let, let, let's <laughs> let's just call him Dan or maybe Daniel. And um. Can they... People, people, people uh, the, who who uh, are are in in knowledge, in wisdom with that, that they definitely know who I am talking about right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. So, okay. Well, was well, there anything else you want to comment about this this Nazi situation? I think that I think that it's it's pretty much it's pretty much like that. Like uh, we are we are okay for it now. All right. Well, is, do you have any messages you want to tell these Nazis if if they happen to mm. have the ability to listen to this video? I think I think that uh, they will. They will. I think that they, they will. They got the idea already. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe maybe we can ha try to work together for peace, so we don't end up. You know. Do you know? It. Because actually, it's not their idea originally. Uh, Nazis' idea. Yeah. To invade, to invade, to conquer our reality, because they make cra uh, cracks between uh, between the uh, limbo, uh, uh, between the uh, uh, between limbo between our uh, because we've got some limbo be between our realities. Yeah, uh, I mean the boundary, limbo boundary, and they uh, made these uh, cracks. But it's not their idea. It was uh, they were forced to do that uh, because of uh, <clears throat> Nordics from Pearl Reality. Because it was it was very easy, right? Very easy situation. Is that uh, that limbo the same thing as hyperspace referred to <laughs> in the Montauk project? If you want project? to say it that way, but that's the thing. They they uh, just uh, just. Uh, 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 go to them, uh, Nordics go to them, to Nazis and tell them, hey, without us, you will be nothing. You will have nothing. It's your time to pay dues. We're gonna invade to this reality. Okay, but why? Very easy. We've got our brothers and sisters there. You know, <laughs> relatives. I mean, the Nordics. Because Nordics, they are split it. A reality and another reality. So that's the that's the thing. That's the that's the story. 
so they think they can get the Nordics in our reality to support their agenda. Yeah, because uh, no, no, not Nazis, but they uh, not Nordics from uh, this mirror. I mean, parallel reality. They thought they believed they uh, can merge our uh, Nordics from our rea reality. Uh, okay, well, that, certainly gonna have to spend some time wrapping your mind around that. Uh, but, so, so, but which timeline is the right one? Because I heard that all the timelines are coming together. Is is there any truth to that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the that's the truth. Totally true. Yeah. So does that mean this other parallel is reality could self destruct? If, if we is that mean that we need to <laughs> to to move your asses because uh, if we will be not able to. <clears throat> to solve the problem, then we will uh, have big troubles. So, so does that mean our timeline could come to an end? No, it will be merged with another timelines, and nobody knows the outcome. So, when a timeline merges, uh, let's say we merge with the Nazi timeline, does that mean all of a sudden a bunch of Nazis are going to show up and materialize around us? Yes. But that also means that we're going to materialize around them too. Yes, as I, and as I said, nobody knows the outcome. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, hopefully uh, we can come to a peaceful solution so we don't end up um, destroying each other. Um, so, but I guess the, the the corporate culture of the ideology might everybody might have to make some exceptions uh, to a degree. Um. All right. Well, I think this might be a good place to move on here because I got some other questions, um, and maybe this is a good point to bring Jessica on because um, Jessica, uh, again, she has her own show on. Is it uh, Wolf Spirit Radio or Re yes, Revolution? Yes, that's correct. Wolf Spirit. Okay, mm -hmm. and you and you do some uh, channeling with different entities, right? Right. I have. Um, it it started. Uh, over a year ago, actually, it's almost been a year um, that I, I did a session with someone and I started to uh, receive, I, I had a vision of this this person by the name of, he called his name Andronicus, and he was um, imprisoned in another reality in Andromeda, and um, I began talking to him and writing down what he was saying to me, and then I asked JP, who runs the network, if he would be interested in reading the role of the words that I got of Andronicus and then because I did a Q&A and I started doing that about a year ago and we're nearing the 50th show of I have um, not only Andronicus but there's uh, multiple others approximately you know 10 different uh, beings that I have been communicating with and um, each each week I could have maybe five transmissions Okay. So that that's how it's been going. It's called uh, the um, the uh, Andronicus transmissions, and we do have it on YouTube if people ever wanted to catch up with it. All right. And when you channel, do you black out or do you recall? Are you still in conscious control of your body when that happens? Uh, oh, absolutely. I mean, it's just like in in you know having a conversation with you. So um, all of a sudden, I kind of I'll see them. And then we'll start talking, and then I type um, whatever our conversation is. And I'm just as surprised as anyone else. I have no idea what's going to come forth. And you can see, you know, after, the, you know, so many shows that you can see a specific type of personality that's emerging uh, from each one of them. They're, they're completely different. And, of course, um, JP does an amazing job of, of uh, changing his voice and, and you know, has, has uh, a clear acting ability. And even one of them, you know, right, is like a um, a minstrel or, or a, tra a traveling uh, troubadour, and he and he sings. <laughs> he sometimes has these little songs, and and JP amazingly picks up the guitar and starts singing the song, just like he was he was him. You know, he channels too in some way, the whole process. So it's it's interesting. We have quite a few people that listen in every week. And. Uh when you channel, do you sometimes channel in some kind of foreign language that no one has ever heard before, perhaps? 
Has that happened? Um, it it could possibly go in in that direction. I mean, um, but I don't let it because I don't understand it, and they, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, I've never explored too far in that direction. Okay, and uh, so I, I don't know. Do you, do you feel comfortable talking about your your Nazi past life connection with what were you, in the real real society? Yeah, um, I had an awakening to that where um, I was doing a regression and, and I saw that I was standing on, on a, like a mountainside and looking over this beautiful vista. And then I looked over and I saw um, uh, Hitler and I was startled. And I said, what is going on here? And I thought, well, this is my imagination. But And I started um, having more memories come in and... and then I realized who I was, and and um, and I realized that I was Sigrun, one of the uh, Real Society members, and uh, I ended up meeting another woman, but uh, who I believe was Gudrun, and she described exactly how I knew that I had died in the end, and I was uh, pushed down a, a portal of some sort. But um, there was, we were not in on a lot of the stuff. We were there thinking that we were doing our spiritual work. And, uh, and you know, I'm not, I know a lot of people would say, you know, oh, we didn't do the bad stuff. We're the only ones that didn't do anything bad. I'm not saying it like that, but I think that we're, our, our focus was more on, isn't this cool? We're talking to someone from another, another planet, which is essentially what I'm doing now in this lifetime as well. Um, but uh, yeah, it was, I thought it was interesting. This woman who I'd never met before, and we just started talking, and um, she knew exactly. She she watched me f get shoved down the portal by one of the uh, Nazi officers who wanted to get rid of me, and uh, she, they did the same with her in a different way, I guess, or maybe it was similar. But um, her death was after mine. Um, so you know, the whole thing is. Uh, I, yeah, I have some very, very unpleasant memories, too, of how we were treated and, and uh, we were drugged. And, uh, you know, um, you know, there was kind of this blurriness of memory, too, of seeing that we were taken advantage of uh, and had to be obedient, you know, in, in that sense. Now, you've also mentioned that you saw Simiasi. Or, did you mention that? Yeah, I've, I've talked to her before. Well, okay. Uh, well, I should. I'm. I'm sorry. I should be more specific. You saw her while you were working with the Vril. Um, Perhaps. I don't. I don't know if it was Simiasi. I mean, of course, there, that was. Um, I don't think Simiasi was. I don't know. Peter maybe can help me with who Simiasi was there, but I don't know if she was. Um, no, she was not involved. She she was and she, she was is not involved. Uh, with uh, Nancy, I think. No, 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 no. Yeah. yeah, I didn't think so either. Okay, so she doesn't have that belief system of eugenics and all that. She's okay with other races intermingling. She's definitely not okay. She's one of the worst. I mean, she was uh, before she didn't met black ones, uh, black uh, dark entities. They are feeding on everybody's energy. And that's probably the same entity is that taking over the people at the monarch base. Yeah, def definitely yes, definitely right. yes. Right, and so you are and, right. And for people who don't know, Semiasi was this alleged plagiarian from another t uh, parallel universe that was in charge of the numbers group, and she had all these powers, and she abused it. Yeah, she she was number f formerly number fifteen. Okay, now also uh, Jessica. You mentioned something about a, 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 a Henrik Heimler. Hopefully I said that. Heinrich Himmler? Heinrich Himmler. Heinrich Himmler. Himmler. Oh. Himmler. Okay. In, so, in uh, German pronunciation, sorry for Henry that, Himmler. but I'm very good in German language. <laughs> okay. So, so you said you saw this, this person. Uh, would you want to comment about that? Yeah. Um, I have, like I said, I have memories where, where we were drugged, and it wasn't just me, but it was the other Vril, and um, they, they, you know, they came to us for advice. I also saw myself um, in the room where they had uh, the Black Sun. It was uh, some kind of um, a castle or something, and I saw myself standing on the edge of it, and uh, they, they wanted me to do something. 
Um, so the, there was there was a lot of different you know snippets of memories that that started to come through, and so one of them was um, uh, that I saw myself um, uh, laying on a bed, and um, I think that they thought you know we had these magical abilities in in the exchange of energy, so they would uh, have sex with us, and I just recall Himmler being extremely cold. And having a really like chillingly cool, uh, cruel way about him that um, I just like I was heavily drugged, um, but I there was that blurriness of feeling him come near me. I just you know out of all of them, I think he was the most uh, disturbing. Do you think he might have been a reptilian? I I think that that he. It was just I, he was just stone cold. I I don't know how to describe exactly um, what he was like. Um, I felt like he didn't particularly like women very well. Um, I don't and like I don't know if this is gonna create you know he's I'm gonna attract him in a way that's negative, but um, I think that maybe he had a different orientation, maybe not um, heterosexual, and and so his opinion of females were not very good but maybe that was a general feeling of people overall maybe that's just the way he was no 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 general people overall yeah uh, he he made a god from himself in in his head he what, what? say that again he made god from himself in his head oh he thought he was god yeah yeah, but he was. He, it, it was a. It was a chilling feeling. I, I even more so. Like Hitler, I felt was. Uh, he had this emanating power, like um, almost like a field of energy around him that made him very powerful. And it wasn't just uh, he, because he was talking loud, but because when we would interact with him, he put on his, a persona of being very kind and gentle. I mean, there he was, like picking flowers or doing something very very passive but it was almost like this field like as I st would I was a distance away but I could almost feel like this this energy barrier around him and maybe because I was psychic it was emphasized but um, it was uh, something that was that I'll never forget from my memory it was very distinguishable now, I imagine if I met him again I'd, I'd recognize him from that energy okay well, was it you, Jessica, who suggested that this guy is still alive? Or maybe Peter? Evidently, he's... Wh which one? Uh, uh, Hitler or Himmler? Him Himmler, and probably Hitler, too. I, well, I, what, what are your thoughts on that? You think they're still alive? Um, yesterday, I got a glimpse of Himmler um, when we were having a conversation. Um, I could see him clearly, and he was laughing like as if he was hearing our conversation now. Keep in mind, I can see another dimension, so it's possible that he can hear us, but he's not actually in in our three dimensional space here in this timeline. So I would have to defer that to Peter as to where possibly he could be. Peter, what do you think? Are you there? He's here. He's here. But that Definitely. would but that would mean he he, he must be at least uh, what 140, 160 years old. Yeah. They can re, re, re imagine them. They've got technology. And, to make uh, them younger. Does, mm -hmm. does that mean... Yes. Do, do you think he uh, is working with black projects or an underground base? Or? Definitely, yes. And you think he, that he still follows the same belief system? Has he changed? Definitely, yes. You yeah. are absolutely right. And that also applies to Hitler? This, this guy is still, probably still alive? Yes. Yeah, definitely, yeah. I saw him very vividly, too, a few times. Right, I think Otto... Oh, go I ahead. I see him right now, sorry. We we're, were bringing it up, and so he's... I can see him very clearly now. So so they de-aged him as well? He, he probably looks, what, maybe 30, 35? 35, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you were right. Yep, that's how I see him. Like when he was in power in the 50s. Okay. Um, all right. Well, I, well, I'll just have to take your word for that. Hopefully, uh, I, 
I, so does that mean uh, what, what his his wife is still alive too? Yeah, Eva. What's her name? Eva Braun. Eva Braun. Yeah. yeah. So so I obviously I guess they didn't they survived the, the bunker. That must have well I I'm pretty confident that was all staged anyway. Um, at least that's a given by the FBI files. As uh, I said, they they are still alive. Okay. Well, well there there you have it. Um. Now, you also mentioned that Albert Einstein was still alive. Yeah. How, how do you uh, figure that? But that's the that's the thing that uh, Monarch, um, they um, reanimated Albert Einstein. Uh, Einstein. Yeah, that's the thing. There was a lady, but uh, the went by the name of Heather in the Heather material from Project Camelot. And she worked on super soldiers where they alleged that they would take dead dead soldiers and reanimate them to reuse them. I guess so that's how they were getting their bodies to experiment on. Yes, you are absolutely right. So, uh, all right. Uh, so when they reanimate the dead, um, is there a, a time window uh, of how yeah. long? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time window. There, There is no limitation for it. So you could take, say, a two thousand year old mummy and reanimate them. If you wanna, if you wanna, go ahead. But but it wouldn't have the same soul, would it? If you if you are able to track the soul via tracking system, no problem. But how are you gonna get a soul to go into a, a clone? But oh, I'm not sure. I guess it's a clone. Is it a clone? No, 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 no. Uh, you can track down the soul in astral system. So, um, but how are you going to yeah. get the cooperation of a soul to enter the body? Uh, you don't need cooperation. Soul uh, is happy. So you could like reanimate Jesus Christ, perhaps, get its soul? Mm, problem is that he's no man, you know. Oh, he doesn't exist? No. He's very first one. You can't uh, reanimate very first one. Oh, okay. He's, he's a, uh, an ET. Yeah. Is Sananda? Is he Sananda? No. They've no. got no names. Okay. Um, uh, Andrew Bisaggio Bisaggio um, said that, uh, hinted that, or, or he directly said that um, Obama President Obama was um, Akhenaten. It was his DNA. That's the thing. You are right. I've heard uh, that as well, and, but it, and Putin, it just seems so Putin hokey. Is, and, and Putin is, I don't know which one of Greek, ancient Greek uh, uh, politicians. I don't know. Uh, Alexander, I, was he Alexander the Great? What? Alexander the Great? No, no, no. no. Uh, from one of them, I don't know. I, maybe I can re yeah Alexander the, the Great yeah yeah you were right really yeah, yeah. look at the similarities between faces yeah the f yeah now I see it L look at look at that look at that so that would have must must mean that my labs or whoever was behind all this planned all this of course all along. of of course very long time ago it was planned and designed very long time ago wow okay well i guess there you have it um a lot of our leaders are reanimated from the dead or some of them anyway <laughs> wow even like allegedly angela merkel the prime minister of germany she's alleged the daughter of hitler um I don't know if anybody has any comments about that, but can someone? Does anyone? Can anyone confirm that or has heard that rumor? Oh. No, <laughs> it's not true. Yeah. No. Okay. Oh, anyway. P Peter, no. Okay. No. Oh, okay. So let's go on here, um, Jessica. So, thanks for sharing us about your channeling channeling abilities. Um, now you also mentioned that you ha worked with some children with the Council of Five. No, um, I was I had 
a vision of these children and they're communicating with me and I'm like that's the is- thing that's the thing you definitely need to to uh, mention uh, because Lepre- this, yeah. this this these children do- doesn't deserve nothing yeah so so go ahead oh, well I was seeing a bunch of children and they were communicating with me and they were very I knew they were very gifted and they were and they were kind of upset that they weren't able to play a lot and they were kind of unhappy about that, just like any any gifted child is. And then they kind of, you know, try to work on their skills. I didn't know who they were. And then finally I asked who they were, and they said they were from the Labyrinth Group. And so then I contacted Peter, and I said, Peter, the, the, there's children in the Labyrinth Group. And he goes, yes. And I said, oh, I said, well, they're upset that they're not really playing a lot. Or he goes, yeah, but that's, you know, it's because of their gift. And what they're contributing, so uh, I don't know. If I, but I didn't have any idea. I mean, he told me about the labyrinth group, but I di- didn't know what they consisted of. But so they actually, a group of them came to me, and hopefully I didn't get them in trouble for <laughs> telling what what happened there. But um, I had a lot of compassion for them, and I love children, and and um, you know, just wished I could have been there to play with them, you know, a little bit to help them through whatever it was that they were struggling with. Now, the, so these children were being used by the labyrinth group for for what what were they what was their perp, what, what purpose? Yeah, um, I think Peter, maybe explain a little bit about the the labyrinth group. They're they're gifted children that they know what their ro- role is is to you assist and help in some ways. So yes, yes, that's the thing. They 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 uh, how can I say that they simply misused the children because. They don't misuse them practically, but they didn't ask for permission, you know. <laughs> so, so because of that, and there was no room for, no space for, for uh, making time for, uh, make rest for them, for making play, because they were, they were small, I don't know, like to, uh, from four five to to ten maybe to uh twelve years so you know young children they need they need they want to play do you know mm-hmm. what i mean right yeah so that's the thing i i don't like them i don't like this this kind of approach but this is the these are the rules of the game you know yeah right well there there was um, an experiment conducted with they would take uh, clone ch- uh, super soldiers, th- the children, and grow them up in an underground base. And then they would also take these same children and insert them into surrogate families to be grown in the public sector and later to be used through their altars. And they found the ones that grew up in the underground base under lock and key were sickly and weren't as effective fighters as the ones that were allowed to have families, yeah. even if they were surrogate. You, you are right. Mm-hmm. So may, maybe they can learn something from that. Yeah, but, I hope so. I don't, I don't know if they could surrogate these children. They probably don't. Do they look human? Yes. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Oh, they, they, wow. they look like normal children. Are they hybrids, some of them, Peter? N- not, not, not some of them, all of them. All of them, okay. So, so where yeah. do, do they like snatch them from uh, various females' wombs across the planet, or or what are they from? Yes, ET? yes, yes. Okay, well, they should have just let, allowed them to grow up in their 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 families. But their that's mother. the problem. The abilities. They're uh, so strong. If you if you if you if you wanna make best training, best trained individual. You need to improve abilities uh, in young age. Between I don't know, not four. Between five, uh, six, in in beginning five, six, and I don't know, like ten, maybe twelve years old, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, Jessica, you mentioned that you, there was some kind of stone that was removed from these children. Was no, it- um, I on a separate occasion. Um, I was brought up to the Council of Five, and we sat together, and um, 
uh, everything was telepathic. I wasn't really having a, a verbal conversation with them, but just kind of seated with them and being in their presence. And uh, they showed me this stone. And it, it, it reminded me very much of um, something that signified an era. It was uh, kind of like the size of a, a, um, the core of a tree uh, and then cut on a slant or in a bias on, on top. And, uh, but it was a stone. And uh, they lifted the stone in front of me and then replaced it with a crystal. And to me, that meant that that's a new era. Something has changed. Um, and what but they didn't go into detail. Yeah, what color was this crystal? Um, it was multifaceted, um, kind of a natural uh, crystal. Um, not not like um, carved in any way. It was, it was definitely in a natural form. Um, and I uh, was reflecting on all different lights, color, uh, but particularly um, sort of a, a, um, a lavender pink color was, was the dominant hue. Hmm. Okay. All right. Is there anything else you want to mention about that? Um, yeah, they, they had called me in before where it was almost like... Um, uh, they were in a circle, kind of like um, monolithic stones, and they brought me in. And I communicated with the uh, Council of Five there before. And uh, one stepped out, and I knew that meant something, the way he stepped out of the circle, like a little bit out of... Um, I, I wasn't sure if that meant he didn't approve of me or... Um, approve of me being there or he was trying to make another kind of statement here again some of the stuff isn't quite clear yet so um but when they do want to tell me other things i mean that's those are my visual experiences there are other times when they're communicating with me um one-on-one -on -one and uh you know we'll have those discussions but some of some of them are much um, some of them are lighter and then some of them are more um serious and in in uh regarding the tone of of whatever information they want me to know Right, right. Okay, so what was your meeting with the um, Murther? And again, the Murthers are one of the on the one of the representatives of the Council of Five. And they look like Greys, perhaps. Yeah, but they they have um, an interesting sense of humor and uh, are, you know, have have levels of uh, compassion and and very childlike in a way. And I I guess that and they love Italo disco, of course. They, they love Italian, Italian no, disco or Italo no, I mean, disco. They uh, just just imagine to work with them. They search in in YouTube ten hours long Italo disco mix, and they just uh, love to hear it. <laughs> what? No, why? And they are don't take us for, don't take away from us our Italo disco. And like, hey. <laughs> It's so, total crazy. So you're world. forced yeah, to yeah. listen to disco when you're around the Murthers. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and they and they called it our Italo disco. No, it's not your Italo disco. We <laughs> created it uh, 30 years ago. No, it's our Italo disco. Uh, well, don't they have? Don't, the, don't they make their own kind of music like that? Or do they not? But have that's it? the thing. They like our music better than theirs, and that's the thing. And they told me, "We've oh, got our human rights." No, you are not a human <laughs> at uh, at all. Mm, we've got human rights uh, at all too. Okay, if you wanna, and we will complain and complain. And, okay, okay, okay. Uh, human rights, <laughs> they, they and the and the human rights crap. They oh. like to dance, James. They're they're very cute. They're like children. They're extremely powerful, but they have a, a very endearing, loving, uh, kind of fun way. And uh, you know, they they um, have some a little bit like a, a little mischief. You know, they like to mess around with you a little bit. Um, I I remember one time I was. Uh, Going, I was just washing my hands at the sink, and and uh, I'm hearing this conversation, and I look, and I said, "Oh, wait a minute!" I said, "Who, who are you? And who's talking to me right now?" And they they said, uh, "I'm your brother," and I said, 
what? I said, no, you're not. And then they said, I'm your sister. And I said, no, you're not. <laughs> I mean, they're just like, you know, just playing with me, you know, but I, it was not of any malice. It was just sort of like uh, having fun with me. And, and that's, that's the way that they are. But if they need to be serious, they'll be serious. But you can see, as Peter said, they're very animated and they have this thing for tea, but one night. Oh, night of course. And, and they, they need to drink extremely strong black English tea with milk and honey. Oh, yeah. and they are very, very upset when they don't have this kind of tea. And then one night, um, they asked for coffee, and Peter had to figure out a way to get them some coffee. It was really kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, because they they just they was just extremely loud knocking at my door. <laughs> you know, and what's 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 the problem? We need the coffee. And oh. <laughs> so, so why do they decide to have coffee all of a sudden they, they I, don't like know. I don't know ask them I don't know <laughs> well just throw them off because it was kind of later in the day and and it was very random but it was uh, yeah here again they're very funny do they like the coffee yeah but very occasionally uh, usually they are uh Drinking extremely strong black tea. Right. Do, do they like mint tea? No. Okay. I guess they don't need it. Yeah. Um, right. Uh, can, can the can the Amurthers levitate? Of course. So can they dance while they levitate? That's the problem. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And if, it, if they love to to levitate, hover in the in this, um, uh, in in uh, the the space, and they love ah, lamb is hanging from the ceiling, and they they <laughs> love to you know they just love to uh, hang in the ceiling like kids. Yeah, they're like kids. Uh, you should best. you should get out uh, one of those eighties disco balls. Yeah, that. Yeah. Of, of course, we've got uh, we've got one, and it's total crazy because <laughs> ah, look at that lights, lights, <laughs> lights, and I love what the heck. Uh, but it's very good motivation for them. They they are doing uh, their tasks. Uh, one quarter faster and almost one third more accurate than before they were uh, delivered the, the uh, discos, uh, the Italian disco uh, to, to them. It's like a total crazy. <laughs> so you can't argue with that. The statistics show, prove it, that it helps yeah. them out. Yeah. Right. yeah. Um, I had the Jinro oh. come and visit me. The, the who? Jinvo, is that it? That's how you pronounce it? Uh, yeah, Jinvo. Yeah. Jinvo. Yeah, I was walking down the street and, and, and it uh, was so clear in my third eye before I even met Peter. Came to visit me and I was like, oh, who's this? Because <laughs> they have like a stern face. And they uh, came to me. Did they, say, did they say anything or just was it just. Just visual only, or but they are, what? But they are okay. He no, he was okay at first. I, this is before I met Peter, so I oh, didn't know who they were. Only uh. one thing, only one thing. They are just a little bit huge. I mean, yes. they, they are extremely tall, right? Mm hmm. Aren't they? I think yeah, that the, they are. the face was very, very, like, almost like the skin was right on their bones. It was just very strong. Yeah, 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 but I mean, how can I say that they are tall? Yeah, yeah, very tall and very intimidating at first. And, and I I asked, you know, is, who are you? And, and, and they said to me, uh, we're just checking on you. And I said, okay. And, but uh, they and like you. They like you. They do. They they do like me, and they liked me before. Like, it wasn't until after I learned about the Council of Five that I knew who they were. But 
um like i said the first time you look at their face you're like it can be very intimidating but he came he was very kind and uh very nice to me but i feel like i knew him from a very long time ago and the jinbos they're the ones that like to do a lot of paperwork stay behind the desk not really yeah, get involved yeah definitely yes okay and they are part of console 5 too that's correct mm -hmm. And for people who don't know, the Council of Five is one of these organizations that manage this sector of the galaxy, or this galaxy. Yes, yes, you are absolutely right. Okay. And, oh, no, no, oh. no, 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 not galaxy, universe. Oh, even bigger. Well, that sounds like... A whole universe. Wow, that's quite a task. Uh, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And there was Council of, Council of Nine before it, and they split it into Council of Five and Council of Four. Yeah. Well, there's probably other councils out there who, who, who claim the same thing, that we, we manage this universe as well. Yes. So, yes. so it's the, okay, so it's not like, all right, so they might have some competition or... or mm, okay. Definitely not. They, they just sectored the universes. Okay. Okay. All right, um, Jessica, did you ever have a chance to meet any other type of beings such as mantis, greys? Well, I guess the Murthers are, are they greys, and, and Draco is the other one. Um, what do you Peter, think? Peter, yeah, I mean they they sort of look like greys, but there's different types of greys, uh, and their personality is obviously very different. Like the, uh, um, you know, there's a Solipsy Ray, which I've communicated with, as well as. Um, uh, yeah, the Dracos are, are very much like bullies, and they they sound like the voices like like you would say like that's a demon, um, but you know I could see what they look like, and um, the uh, there was another species of gray um, that first time I saw them I I immediately said uh, oh my god that's an alien and, and he. Close, did a close up of my eyelashes and he said, Oh, you're a bug, you know, because of the eyelashes look like a spider. And I, <laughs> I laughed. And so, yeah, I mean, they, they, they're not typically hostile to me, but um, there was uh, one time the Greys were complaining. There was a group of Greys that were complaining about how the earth was being mistreated and um, they, and they were upset about something and they didn't explain everything but they showed me an atom bomb and uh um i remember just crying because i felt like oh something really bad is going to happen and i hope nothing really bad and i wish that they wouldn't show me that so i you know it was almost like they, they they've tried to communicate with me off and on you know for years and um and i would just you know either i would agree or disagree or I'd, you know i'd make a comment either way and uh but most of the time, I think it's, um, I see myself as just um, like a, a liaison or uh, in some ways, you know, just trying to get them to speak their piece and say what they need to say and then, you know, tell them not, you know, don't, please don't do that or, you know, can you stop doing this or, or creating problems or some of them, some of them just want to say hello and uh, be friendly. Yeah. So now, of course, the Dracos... You, uh, some of them are infected with the negative um, black goo, I guess, negative AI, the PPAI. Uh, yeah. yeah, they've threatened me. They have threatened me. Um, have you ever had interaction with these beings known as the arach arachnids or the octopus men or women? Uh, yeah, I yeah, I've seen those and as, as well as the mantids. The mantids, to me, are tricksters. Like, they'll, they'll say one thing and they'll then mean another um but that was my experience i don't know if that's our personality trait but that's how they acted towards me almost like they didn't want me to know what they were doing okay uh, so, so these are these arachnoids they're they're perhaps what we know as the archons and they're interdimensional yeah that's the thing that they are bothering uh, uh tremendous tremendous uh, amount of people last a uh, few few months uh, Dracos, I mean arachnoids, and no, sorry, arachnoids and uh, Dracos, arachnoids and uh, octopuses, if you wanna call them that way. Yeah. And uh, that's the thing, uh, especially octopuses. 
they can be very hostile, but you know, there is a mab abomination too. For example, big, not eight, but twelve legged uh, arachnoid. Will you like? Like, I don't know, like uh, <laughs> uh, 10, maybe 12 feet big arachnoid? I think no. Mm. Are they what is known as diamond diamond spiders, or is that not? Yeah, real? yeah, something like that. So, so their exoskeleton they, and, is and diamond, got, and they've got all these huge eyes, <clears throat> just staring at you. What the heck? So abomination. And, and do, and do yeah. they eat eat humans if they oh. get hungry enough? No, they just wanna make you, you know, feel uncomfortable and then threat threat you and all kind of stuff. Well, do you think? I, I met a, oh, go ahead. Oh, I met. I I had an interaction with uh, a chupacabra that came to me. It was very close to my face and had blood on his mouth and and his eyes were looked bloody and it was really really intimidating. And um, we had a conversation of how he uh, felt like they were displaced here on the planet. I don't know what this what the real story is, but he said that. They were they were left here. They don't have a planet, and they get hungry and they eat animals. Yeah, and but that's the thing. They, how can I say that? There is one important difference. Uh, they are not doing it because they uh, have pleasure for it. They are doing it because they are hungry. How can I say that? Yeah, that's it's what he because said. it's it's because uh, without. Uh, mm, Without uh, feeding uh, themselves uh, by by animals, they will die. Mm -hmm. I, now I like to saying. I like to throw something out there about the chupacabra. Um, it it appears that these these beings are considered like you know, how back in the day was well, still so uh, rats would get into the cargo hull of ships. Well, these chupacabras were the same way. They get in the hull of these extraterrestrial ships, and for some of these extraterrestrials, they 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 kind of think they tolerate them, and it's like, well, well, they're there. And then when they land, some of them escape, and they get out in the, in the wild. And um, so, I just thought I'd throw that throw that out there. Mm -hmm. um, whether or not that's true or not, I, I'm not sure, but it seems like it would be. Um, yeah. Okay, and I also want to mention that Morgellons disease is perhaps associated with the arachnoids. It's an interdimensional, um, I guess, infection, AI, perhaps, black goo mixed in interdimensional. From the, from the, the, um, the crops, uh, not the, the, what do you call it, the, from the planes. The plane. Um, oh, chemtrails? Chemtrails from the chemtrails. Oh, is that what you think it's yeah. from? Well, yeah, I think that. I, I thought that's where it came from. Peter, do you have any thoughts on that? Uh, chupacabra and chemtrails? You mean like that? Uh, no, the, the Morgellons disease. What? Uh, Mo Morgellons. Mor it's, it's, they were the little creatures or something. That oh, no, 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 no. Uh, it's, it's different agenda. It's mu much more complicated than that's, that's something like that. But is it arachnoids in causing yes, the infection? Yes, but it's it's com more complicated. Okay, we might have to say that for another time if it's that complicated. Now, I wanted to give Jessica a chance to talk about Ish Ishtar, uh, because apparently you 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 think you might have had a past life, perhaps. Is that is that is that true? Yeah, it was. Uh, I had, of course, I had multiple past lives, and some of them were. Um, very unusual, and and the the whole thing of, um, I believe I was um, Ishtar from the vision that I got um, as I started channeling uh, Andronicus. Um, I, I just, just just saw myself as this ancient queen, and uh, I was abducted by the reptilians. And then they they put me back into time space and and there I was as um, Semiramis. They they thought they deified me, so they brought me in through like a portal of some sort. But it was it was an abduction from the the, uh, the reptilians. And so I've had I had a very ancient history with the reptilians. And and according to Andronicus, the 
reptilians had uh, had uh, taken over Andromeda, and uh, it's similar to what they, you know, their influence here on the planet now. And so it's kind of just keying us in with what's, you know, what happened, and that we don't have to go down that same road that they did. I mean, we can stop it. Can you explain so, explain who Ish, Ishtar is for people who don't know? Um, she was just an ancient Sumerian. Uh, you know, I don't know. I guess she, if you look at it, she was uh, connected to the um, like Anu and and uh, you know that whole uh, line of of the inter- I, I guess people call them the Anunnaki. Right. Okay. Um, okay, so I guess we can go on here. Um, does anybody have any information on the RH negative bloodlines? Um, uh, I guess so, someone wanted to know that the origin of AB negative, but I guess in particular just RH negative, if you don't have any info on that. Yeah, it was, uh, it was only de- designed, okay? It was designed. So it uh, there is no natural blood type thing you think. So positive or negative, it's all, everything's been designed. Yeah, you were right. Um, and does uh, does that have something to go on uh, that took place during the time of Atlantis with the experiments? Yes. Yes. So so um, as far as people who are H negative, do they have any more abilities than those who are not, or is it? The other one no, around. no, no, no. I mean, all of this it was designed for very, very long time ago, right? Designed by who? The, the Anunnaki's? No, by the very first ones. And what? What is the end game? What's the goal of all these different blood types? You think? Nothing. They, they, they just making experiments. Oh. Create. And they, they like it. They, they, they like. They love to, to make experiments. Okay. There so, is no how can I say that there is no rational explanation for making such a crazy experiment, but they like it. Okay. Does that mean the people have RH negative have more extraterrestrial no, genetics? No, 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 no. Nothing if, like that. If you, if no matter if you have uh, uh, positive or negative, uh, everything is designed. Okay, everything. All right. Plus, plus, minus, everything is designed by a, by a purpose, right? That's right. Okay. Um, now let's going back to the extraterrestrial question, uh, Peter. You you mentioned that you had some experiences with the blue sphere being alliance. Um, is that correct? Yes. Uh, could you comment a little bit about that? Because we 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 only touched on that. Um, in another show and I never never really got much clarification what what exactly was your interaction with the, this being or beings uh, they 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 don't want to talk to talk about themselves so it's extremely complicated to define them who they are but they mm, they are how can I say that uh, hey, look at me! I am just another player on the on the game, on the you know on, on on playing ground. Something like that. And um, I mean, according to Corey Good, they're here to help us and protect us and save us. Uh, that's the thing. Uh, Corey Good can say something. He's free, free man, but uh, it's not like that. Because. Of course, they want to help, but they are not, how can I say that? They are not help. Uh, nobody, trust me, nobody with no, uh, with no good for them. So they are not doing it with uh, uh, another uh, further benefits. So they're you not. Know what I mean? They're not helping us out of the good of their heart. They're doing it for their own reasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how can I say that they? It, it, it's. How can I say that? It will be, pretty much the same, as, 
as uh, it was with Nazis. Okay, okay, we are here. We can heal. Uh, we we'll, uh, we uh, can help you, but you will pay your dues. It will be one day or another, but you will pay your dues. Oh, so so they want us to sign agreements with them or go into agreements? Yeah, that's the thing. We don't we don't like it. Well, what are what are some of their demands? Uh, I'm not able to 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 talk about that. Okay. Uh, but but that's the thing. Uh, they want a part of our reality to uh, to experiment with. Uh, I mean, they wanted to break our rules of basic rules of physics, chemistry, all kind of stuff, right? I mean, very basic uh, basic rules. Well, here's the thing: is Humanity is at this crossroads where all the timelines are merging, and we're the most yes. at, we're extremely vulnerable at this point in time in the timeline. And here they come along, and and it's almost as if they're trying to take advantage of the situation because they think definitely they, yes, you are absolutely right. Yeah, it, it just seems doesn't seem very fair that well, I guess that's the but way. that's the hey my friend, but what is fair? No, no, be honest. With with you and with all people who are listening to, what's 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 fair? What's what's honest? What's what's okay? Nothing is okay. Nothing is fair. If they and and be honest, if you as being in charge of from another um, um, race, okay. Will you be not taking advantage? No, no, no. Be honest. Well, we we certainly did that to well the white people did that to the Native Americans when they first came to North America. Ah, oh, so you it's, advanced yourself. <laughs> That's the thing. People have been doing it all along, and of course, how can we expect the ETs to not be any different? Yeah, as above, so below. Yeah, you you answered your your given question. So really, yeah. the, the key of saving us is saving ourselves. That's the only that's the only way it's going to happen. Yes, yes. So people have to learn to take responsibility for their actions. Yeah. And a lot of people don't want to do that. They want someone else to. They want to give up their responsibility to someone else. Yes. And I think until we, as a species, learn to take responsibility, we is it is that where why we're, we won't be allowed to ascend or or yeah, that's right? the thing. That's the thing. We need to take responsibility. Not we. I mean, we as uh, y y you, myself, Jessica. No, or maybe we as a humans, or maybe we as a, uh, you know. Uh, I mean humans, I mean like uh, mankind. We as different type of aliens. Because even most intelligent aliens, they, they've got one, they don't have one very important thing. Ability of taking responsibility for their, I mean of course, bad actions. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, um, and, and Peter or Jessica, anybody wants wants to comment about this? Do you believe that we have a, a higher and lower self? Someone wants to know that. Um, lower self? What do you mean by that? Uh, maybe, uh, you mean like good and bad version of ourselves? Or or maybe it has to do with like our astral body, like we have a, an over soul, perhaps. Were group uh, souls? No, 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 no. I don't. I don't want to talk about it. Uh, I mean, I have, uh, but I've got only opinion. Okay, but I think that Jess Jessica, she is definitely the one who can who can be much more, you know, specific about that. Okay, so I mean, the the, the lower self would be. Our conscious awareness and in our three D experience right now, right, in, in in this dimensional plane, 
And then um, our higher self would be an aspect of ourselves that sees things from another perspective, a higher perspective, is closer to source, um, has has more wisdom. And um, you know, the the the, uh, the Eastern philosophy is that you work on meditation and open up your chakra areas so that you can gain uh, communication between your lower and your higher self. And by doing that, you're accessing a higher aspect uh, of yourself and uh, wisdom and also having a keying in uh, closer to the, uh, the God source energy. Um, and, and that helps you to raise in your consciousness. So, yeah, I, I do believe that very much so, and I believe that um, that's what happens when people have their awakening and also the remembrance of, of you know, previous lifetimes and so forth. Um, but also, you know, understanding their life purpose. There's so many different things that come up, come out of that. Okay. Well, so there you have it. Um, we, have, we have very uh, interesting universe, and... Uh, all we have to do is learn to tap into those frequencies and dimensions to access different parts of ourselves we never thought we had, but we always did. Just all about bringing mm -hmm. it all into balance. I think that's yes, it. you are you you are absolutely right. I think yes. Now, now um, I I think we need pro probably to wrap this up pretty soon, but. I had one other question, and this goes back to what we were talking about earlier with the Nazis. And now, Peter, you mentioned that the Nazis in this other parallel reality did not tolerate interracial marriages at all. My question yes, to yes, you, you is right. now, according to you, you said that uh, there's 500 million individuals who are part of the ACIU, and I'm assuming these are the e e ET hybrids, e human hybrids. Yes, you are right. So wouldn't there be extraterrestrial hybrids in that parallel That's reality? That's the problem. Them? That's the problem. They don't... They, Nazis don't accept um, uh, marriages between um, another races uh, in humankind, but they uh, are accepting once again in their uh, in their parallel reality they are accepting uh, marriages and and the uh, birth of uh, crossed crossed beings between between uh, uh, two different races I mean aliens and and uh, and uh, humans. humans I mean isn't it crazy isn't yeah, that that, that it, seems hypocritical. It, 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 what? That's hypocritical. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Like that. Isn't it? Isn't it crazy? Mm -hmm. Now, but now you also mention um, that this Umbrella Corp and this other parallel reality created this virus to specifically attack people who were hybrids. Uh, no, 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 no! Not all hybrids. Our hybrids, they want to have invasion on their reality. Okay, that's, 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 their intention was good, but it turned totally back, uh, totally bad. It's the same thing as, for example, monarch intention is good, or maybe they, they were good. Uh, their original intention because they don't want to leave us in this mess in in this mess uh, with uh, the, we we are dealing with right now uh, because of of uh, merging these realities but they they were low on time they were doing things under pressure right and because of that, uh, they uh, they got very very late that they've got uh, traitors in their uh, company, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, these traitors misused the the their program, the the scientific program, right? Yeah. 
So essentially, with the the Umbrella Corp, it was this organization that was trying to create, a, I guess, a virus to exterminate a group of extraterrestrial, I mean, human hybrids that had been in, bred with a, a particular ET race that was very aggressive and causing issues. Mm -hmm. Not 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 race races races, races. multiple M multiple races. Well, does yes. that mean does that mean on this parallel reality these same races have um, interacted interbred with humanity? Do we have that same issue here? Yes, that's the thing. Yes. So this zo I guess we could call it a zombie virus was released, and it, yes. it, it, what did it do to these individuals that had these genetics? Uh, if you wanna uh, know, play one of Resident Evil game series or maybe look at the uh, Resident Evil movie. You know, they were they were just like total, you know, like zombies, like different, extremely abomination mutations. But surely they would have run a, a, a test and under ex, ex, um, controlled environment before releasing this virus. No, no, no. They did the test, but they did test in certain. How can I say that? Uh, they did test in certain specific level of development because they were developing. Uh, they these hybrids, and uh, it turned totally bad because uh, once they developed to another level I don't want to say higher or lower but another level the virus uh, which should be uh, in very beginning of the, the idea targeted just for them it become infectious do you know what I mean and did it mutate yes yes out of their control yes. Yes, you are right. Yes, yes, yes. And so the peop so some of the individuals on this timeline are considering doing that to what the not the Nazis or or, or is that uh, out, of, out of the that's question? That's the thing. That's the thing. The new uh, newest uh, Ebola or I don't know, like uh, uh, H two N two, the birth flu, and all kind of these crazy viruses. You know. All right. Okay, well, um, I, 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 but I, I'm fairly confident we won't have to deal with that in this timeline. So I'm, I'm not trying to cause fear here. I just, just wanted to throw, throw some things out there so people can become at least aware of what not to do anyway. <laughs> For those who, yes. who are listening. Yes. All right. Well, does anybody else would like like to throw any um, final comments out there before we conclude? I think I think that we are okay for that. I, I I think that we've got only another, you know, uh, another few questions from your list. Oh, okay. Well, uh, so somebody wanted to know if Monarch Solutions had anything to do with the burn stain issue. Does anybody know what that's about? No, no, no. It's not. Uh, there is no connection. But that's the thing. Another project, uh, Monarch is involved with too. Uh, is Project Wall Rider, right? Uh, because it was. Uh, but Jessica, go ahead because you you were in in the, you know, in the project. Well, Mur Murkov company and all kind of stuff. Go ahead, because you you were deep inside. I was deep inside. I I'd, I think I'd have to go deeper into a regression to try to pull out some of the memory of that. It's really kind of funny because I can remember the Nazi experience, but I don't remember what happened um, in this lifetime when I was pulled in. Um, and it looked very. What I do remember of it is I said to Peter when we first met and we were reviewing my timeline and uh, when I started getting visitation by um, the the number my supervisor from the numbers group and and also having a clear memory of walking with this man and him uh, kind of my being in uh, right around junior high 
um, having this alternate reality of him being my boyfriend, but he was so much older, and uh, that he had isolated me from everyone else. And um, so Peter then went on to tell me that um, beneath all of that, which was probably the surface memory that, that they left me with, was um, some surgeries and experimentations and uh, where I would have, um, uh, I would daydream excessively when I was a child, um, you know, it, it was a very unusual, I was very different from the rest of my family and, uh, but you know, of course, like I said, we got along and everything, but it was, you know, I really felt like I was very different. So it was probably some of these experiments that they had done that made me feel like uh, somewhat isolated. There was this always this feeling of being alone, but yet there were all these like there was six of us in the family. So how could I be alone? But yet I had that isolating feeling, so that affected me. But I don't remember the hospital, as Peter mentioned. Um, either they wiped that up uh, from my memory, or I have not had any um, recall of it. Do you, do you recall having missing time like a couple years from your life? Of, like, no. Okay. All Nothing right. like that, which is interesting. I, I don't. I, I actually have I, I have more of an overlap of like this happened, but yet yeah, this happened too. But how did that happen at the same time? That kind of stuff. Almost as if maybe I was in a parallel universe or a par not a parallel uh, dimension or timeline. Uh, because it seems like things were happening, I have more of that kind of effect as opposed to, I can I can recall all the way back to when I was, you know, maybe like four or five years old. Or five, five years old, there was a spacecraft um, that I remember seeing over my, directly over my house, hovering over the house. Now, going back to Project Wall Rider, for people who have no idea what that is, um, uh, so, so I guess that that was associated with the Nazis, and they were trying to make clones of people to make super soldiers. Is that what it primary? Yes, definitely. Yes, you are right. Yeah, yeah. And what was the specifics behind that? What 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 was the goal uh, of designs? The super soldiers. They want to design total um, total perfect su super soldier. Of course, yeah, perfect, uh, right? The the one, uh, the the several mm, mm, patterns, several matrices for um, female, male, and several for for female, right? So, will these super soldiers have cyborg augmentation? No, 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 no. They will look like humans. Um, okay, and would they so have? Oh, go ahead. Does that mean? Well, I don't see myself as a super soldier. Is that that, that was that just the males? No, 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 Peter? no, no, no. no. Uh, because uh, you were not uh, in final phase. Right. Uh, so. All right. So okay. Uh, and does that mean they they use these clones for to run to drive? At? We would drive avatars, or or Jessica would drive no, an avatar. No, 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 no avatars, no avatars, because they can, they are pretty much mortal. You can't kill them. And do they have their own? Do they have a separate soul? Of course. So they could look just like us, but be a different. Yeah. Um, and as far as their abilities are concerned, what 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 could they do better than normal, typical normal people? humans everything everything um all right well so, th so everything i mean they like uh, they can you can you can burn them they will never burn you you can just throw them to the water they will not uh, sink but typically if, if they weren't burning that means they would have some kind of polymer under their skin and there would be some uh fino fento technology and yeah, of evolve. course, of course. So, so they are a cyborg in a way, even though they look. But human. that's the thing; you will not recognize it. And I, where, I think, where did they oh, go? Are they in this dimension? Of course, of course. And, and do you think they've been surrogated and, and put into a surrogated family and growing yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. Do you think it's possible some of them may have been had their say personalities splintered so that they um they 
all their abilities they can, are tied they into can alters. Be, they can be they can be triggered. They but, but, can be triggered. I, I got you that I got that, but what I'm saying is there has have they been able to splinter their abilities so that when they're with their family and people that they don't have these abilities or it doesn't um it doesn't manifest because no. they have been triggered. The one once if you have trigger uh, how can I say that the finger of the, on the trigger? They don't care. Now, now I know some people who contact me and they say they get into fights and they black out, and then when they come to, everybody's freaking out and staring at them, and the person that they was about, about to attack comes all the way across the floor, and they don't recall any of that. Is that kind yeah, of yeah? Like but that's that? the thing. Yeah, that's the thing. So, so, but if if you've had that experience, does that mean you've probably been through these experiments? Yes, not probably, uh, not, uh, definitely through this experience. Has that ever happened so, to, you, to you? Oh, go ahead, Jessica. Are you going to ask me if I ever had that blackout? Or or Peter, has anyone of gotten course, into a fight and course, blacked out? Of course, of course. No. I, I can, <clears throat> I can, I can rip uh, the, the, uh, extremely heavyweight and big man to to two pieces I can do it I can flip over a fireworks tr uh, truck <laughs> I, I I did that oh I got no problem with that yeah and, and, and once my, I am really pissed off of course yeah and, and my file claims that I'm highly tele telekinetic and I have some all these abilities so um, but I don't really feel like I have those those kind of abilities. Is that because it, they're an alter, or yes. maybe I just haven't yes. been triggered? Yes. Uh, okay. Does that mean I'm part of? Well, you know, I don't want to judge. I, okay. Uh, I, I. But I did want to mention one other thing. So, so these clones, you said they grew twenty one days to become twenty one years old. Yes, you were right. But how would they? Okay. So, so they really, really wouldn't need to insert them into a surrogate family. They just give them memories of their child of of, fa of a fake childhood that never really happened yes, to them. Yes, yes. So, what if they were to contact their alleged family members? Would their family even re remember them? No. That's pretty I mean, wild. I mean, that's the thing because uh, they will they will go. Only, uh, only, as a, uh, you mean? Oh, gotcha. Because you mean like that. Okay, that's the thing. Uh, they will go. Yeah, a very small child. Okay, to you. After birth, and they can make time flowing extremely fast. F not only for child, but for all mem uh, members of uh, family, all neighborhood, and all kind of stuff. Do you know what I mean? So they can manipulate the memories of the families members too. Yeah. Is it? Is there? Is that a violation of some kind of universal law to do that kind of stuff? Yes, definitely. Yes. Is do you think there's karmic in, um? Um, cause and effect with that as well. Of course, you are right. Okay. Well, all right. So for those out there who participated, uh, there you have it. Um, but I was curious about one other thing. Apparently, now I know to insert these memories into these clones. Um, one I one school of thought that was relate to me and I just want to hear from you if it's accurate do they have the ability to program a virus to inject a virus into someone and to give them memories that way can would that even yeah. work yeah okay because there, there was some allegedly they were making some clones on Mars uh, a, a group of uh, some reptilians they were in a, a huge dome and the sunlight would come into the dome to illuminate the bodies because apparently they needed um, sunlight to regenerate, um, to grow. But they were growing these clones really fast. Um, I think uh, they, they, well, you said 21 days. Uh, it may have been two weeks. But um, 
and then they would inject them with a virus and then they would, they would send them off to for probably a suicide mission because these clones typically only lived for two weeks afterward um, so so do these these clones in project wall rider do they have an ex, um, extended life or, or a, a reduced life because they are as, as I said they are practically uh, unstoppable you can't kill them but do they age is what I'm trying to get do they age faster no 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 after uh, reaching 21 no aging no more aging so so let's say 30 40 years into the future that they're still gonna look to 21 yeah but oh okay well hopefully by I guess by by then people start gonna ask hopefully they'll start asking questions but knowing knowing most people they just don't seem to be able to put the dots together um, but <laughs> Okay, well, anyway, so there, there you have it. Is there any other comments you want to bring about Project Wall Rider that you feel irrelevant? From my, from my point of view, definitely not. We are okay. <laughs> okay. How about you, Jessica? Um, like I said, I, I don't recall a whole lot other than you know that that information was extract, extracted from me. Um, I, I still don't fully understand what happened. Um, I do know that. Um, interesting enough, I've met a few people that were interested in my work and just to find out that they were also in the same program uh, wall writer at the same time so they're they're we're finding each other which I think is kind of weird I don't think that there are clones but you know maybe Peter I'll have to talk to you later about that Peter <laughs> well does she have oh Peter does she have clones can you can you tell us yeah yeah and, and they look just like her yeah and do they have her but, memories too? Yes. And and we're they're not here though, because I've been no, bumped into no, them. No, 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 they are not here. So what they're are they? Off world. Yes, they are off world. Yes, you are right. It, it kind of reminds me of that movie. Uh, uh, it, it was called Moon, where they actually took a clone. They were they had a clone on on a lunar base that was conducting remote mining with robotics and they they programmed the clone to think that it was on a mission for x amount of years and then it'll be returned back to its family but every every whatever 10 or 50, whatever the mission was they they kept replacing the same clone over and over again so when then finally one of them was programmed to self-destruct it managed to escape and went down to planet earth and discovered its, his, his family was all dead because that was like over 100 years or so had passed by but um it just shows you that perhaps people in Hollywood or whatnot, we were talking about this last week, um, get information that may be more truthful than we can imagine. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's very strange, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Well, oh, and there's one other thing. Okay, so someone wants to know if the video, and I'm going to go ahead and play the video right now. I saw the video. I can I can I can tell that it's TR three uh, H TR three H, and uh, it's a fighting version of uh, of uh, Astra Lockheed Martin Astra Locust, right? And they were using it. Uh, how can I say that without permission of uh, of uh, ACIO in uh, in Syria? Now, according, I mean, if you look at the footage, it looks like there's an explosion of a building with this the TR3H above it. So my question is, is that the TR3H causing the explosion, or shooting a projectile, or something that that would do that? Or no, was, no, 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 no. It it's there? not like that. It's not like that. They were just uh, uh, looking at it because uh, they've got the the weaponry systems, but uh, then they don't use them. Who who doesn't use use them? The TR3H. 
No, DR3H is only type of of aircraft. We from ACIO, we didn't use use them. Oh, oh this what the, this weapons the, contractor. The weapon systems, right? Okay. So the question is, so it was a, it was an actual test. Yeah, it was actual test, but uh, we didn't use them. We only was as neighborhood watch, if you wanna say it that way. But somebody else, you just just made crazy thing, and uh, we were uh, around it. We, we we were near near it. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so so it kind of looks like they the the TR three H or the ACIO was behind it, but really they weren't. They were just monitoring. Yeah, that's the thing. All that's right. the problem because uh, this attack um, causes big troubles for us with uh, with uh, our electronic system. Uh, the 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 weapon systems within in the no, device. No, not only weapons. A whole electronic, uh, a whole navigation, a whole thinky thing. You know that. Okay, and so they were trying to figure out a way to, or have you been able to figure that out, or maybe they're still working on it. How to? Yeah, we are still working on that. And do you think the Nazis from the other timeline got yeah, that figured out? Yes, it is. Uh, <laughs> it, it was uh, their work. Maybe you should uh, try to capture one of their ships and reverse engineer it. But that's the problem. They can uh, switch wets very fast. It, crazy fast. Well, you got to get some help um, from the other other side. To... Anyway. Uh, it's not so easy. Nothing is so easy. <laughs> thank you, Peter, for uh, joining us today. And also thank you, Jessica, for joining us. I appreciate it. Um, do you have any final comments, Jessica? Uh, no, thank you for bringing forward some of this information. I know it's it's very very much on the fringe, but um, I, I appreciate that you're open and and have asked the the questions that you did so that people can be more aware and look around and see a little bit more than what they realized was going on. Thanks for having me. You're very Ciao. welcome. Yeah, and thank you, Peter. So I just want to mention that um, Peter is conducting. I get, are you still conducting? Are you taking more people on your yeah, list for your yeah, sessions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course, of course. Okay. And so for people who have no idea what what I just ta- mentioned, uh, he has access to an ACIO database. So you, if you think you might have been involved with super soldiers, my labs, or extraterrestrial activity, or Monarch. Um, I suppose you could maybe a, a, were a, a Nazi in a past life or something like that. Uh, apparently, P- Peter has the ability to get information. So the so the the if you want to learn more about that, click on the deep more details section, and you can find out how to sign up. As well as drink the mint tea. Apparently, that will help raise your vibration, so that entities of a higher dimension will come down and help you out, sort out some of your issues and. Uh, bring integration as well as subscribe to this channel so you can con- get continue to get further updates some people are asking me questions that could have been answered if they've been watching the videos so um, just trying to do a little heads up there and also visit supersoldiertalk.com where you can get some more updates so not only about this video other uh, any other super soldier my lab related content so once again Thank you, everybody, for listening in, and bye-bye.